when I say every time, every time I need to go to the bank of something, there's a train. I don't understand. Mind you, I'm a patient person. I don't really care about the train. I'm just saying. When I got outside, I was like, why is it like cold out? But it wasn't, I don't think. Like I think it was just because the air conditioning hit your girl hard before leaving. I also told myself, I'm like, okay, mind you, I have to dress like it's the winter months because it's so cold in the environment. But yesterday I had this, I was like, you know what, enough is enough. And I'm gonna start dressing cute again. So, that's what we're doing. I need to go shoe shopping because literally I felt like a 75 year old woman just wearing, I don't wanna say Porth the, what is that called? What is that thing called? Why am I blinking right now? orthopedic shoes lord jesus yes i felt like i was wearing orthopedic shoes even though i don't own a pair i'm just wearing shoes that i know that i like walk in and stuff like that and i'm like golly thought i could move my camera i guess not and these straps mind you i think i got broad shoulders right this thing these straps is not not holding up they ain't holding up but it's okay we, we gonna make it do what it do and I'm gonna look cute until I get home but yeah let me do what I gotta do at this bank and I bought an item yesterday and I was like and I've never felt this before but like I started feeling well I start to feel when I buy an item for myself a little guilty like I have buyer's remorse for some reason probably because I know it could go maybe towards something else but at the same time I have been a girl that has you know done things like re-ramped her closet several times her decor several times I can't be I can't be feeling bad you know what I'm saying I just can't so I'm not but I kept the receipt just in case so we're doing so yeah, let me show you the item when I get home. I think it's mad cute. And I also bought some more dresses. Hopefully they'll be here next week for my trip because I did buy it for comfort for my trip. And I bought it to be cute for the fancier things and the casual things because it's gonna be a lot of walking per usual and things like that. So I just wanted to be cute and comfortable with something new, something that I could pop out on, you know what I mean? So that's to come too, maybe a little haul in the future. But I hope y'all's day is going good. Have I even introduced the vlog yet? I don't believe so. Hey! <laughs> what is? <laughs> I try to be happy every day, you know, the positive vibes, you know what I mean? But, I'm just trying to have the extra oomph today, bring you the funny. Sir, we feel like a rental, cause that's what I do. Cause I'm talented like that. I don't know why people can't operate the moher vehicle that they are buying or leasing. I don't want to stay it. Okay, I just don't. Like, what are we doing here, sir and or madam? Anyway, I'm here, let me go in, handle my business. So done at the bank, and I'm going the long way home, so I might as well just, you know, vlog and talk while I'm doing it. 
I don't know why, but it always sounds like it's mad windy. Oh, child, my thing's shaking, honey. Hold on. <laughs> because we, we don't give this quality out to the people. No, we do not. We do not give turbulence as footage. Okay? We about stillness and stability up in this thing. Okay? Oh, and now I can catch every other red light except this one. Okay. So I guess you're going to have to keep the turbulence. <laughs> I want to know why people just feel comfortable being on the opposite side of the road while turning in. Like, that's just weird to me. And I decided to go the long way home because it seems like the other area is just too congested. And I don't like that about this area. Because first off, everybody getting off at the same exact time. And then those that, especially the Ford Explorers, the Challengers, the whatever, the things that look like a cop car, and y'all buy it for y'all regular usage, residential usage, and y'all be buying the standard black, white, silver. All right, I'm tired of it. Especially the old Crown Vicks. Now I understand the Crown Vic is a uh, outdated police car. I understand that, but people still buy them with the lights on it and everything. What do we do with the magnifying glass and the light on the thing on the dash? What are we doing? <laughs> like that just makes me so mad. And then people not doing the speed limit thinking they're gonna go faster than or get to their destination faster i'm always say this too to people when you're rushing in traffic or if you just believe that you're gonna get somewhere faster because you're going 10 above the speed limit you're not gonna get anywhere you're just gonna make a traffic jam for yourself personally and you're pretty much not driving carefully in my opinion but that's just me because say especially on streets that have stop signs and all of that you know if you get caught even though you get there sooner you still go out to stop at the red light just like I am and we're gonna get to the same destination at the same time like I don't understand why people don't think with their heads because it's around a time, I don't want to say it's like rush hour or anything like that because it's not. Because my rush hour is definitely different from other people's rush hours. So, again, I don't know why people are rushing because there is nowhere to rush around here. Because <laughs> it's an industrial area. Like, there, I don't, I don't want to say factories. But, like where you make fiberglass and the moldings and the warehouse people and the, the, you know what I'm saying it's just it's that type of stuff so people are rushing for what I don't know and this, this is a stop sign see this is, this is why I just want to have selective road rage sometimes because exactly the scenario I just said the person right in front of me that passed me that wanted to do whatever the hell Excuse my hand. Stopped at the same red light. Stupid. Semi looking at me because you can't make a wide turn. Go back to driving school and your CDL again. Stupid. probably thinking too like why the hell is she talking to herself y'all don't know that I got either a car phone you don't know what I got I could be talking to whomever and nobody responding you never know this is what I have to go through on a daily basis to get back home I feel like it's an odyssey 
to get back home. And I decided to go the longer way home thinking that I could expedite the traffic jam that always seems to happen because it's just like, why are all these people, either they wanted to do the speed limit, they want to go under the speed limit. It's never people being aware of their surroundings. I don't understand. But it's a nice day out. I need to get a couple more things. I don't know if I have the energy to. In a little bit, I need to get another chair. Like another lawn chair because the one I have two originally my mom just got me another one but I like to have at least two at all times but one of them broke like I've had them for years and they finally one of them finally snapped I think it was either something with the metal plastic piece or the rust or whatever but yeah that has been gonzo so i'm just gonna buy a cheap ten dollar one because that's the ones that i got before i may get another color let me concentrate on the road actually and i'll get back to you when i'm in the grip okay so we're back home for now until i gotta go pick up the other items that i wanted to do because to me i like to have things a couple weeks before any type of trip of mine and I like to also think of things that I need to replenish in my household to be able to come back reset if you will I always enjoy doing that so gonna continue going to continue that situation however I have been on a little I need something for myself type of situation so one day I was just randomly browsing shops, mind you, window shopping, didn't buy a thing, whatever the case may have you. And yesterday I needed to go back to get this item because one thing you need to know about me with the handbag selection that I have, I'm not sure if one of these brands are, mm, I don't think it's popular but I love the structure and the styles of the bag I probably need to go again to get another bag but no I don't but yes I do no I don't yes I do no I don't no I don't this this bag I guess you can call it a bag I mean some may consider it a belt some may consider it a fanny. Some may think of it as a purse. Whatever may have you. Here. Because one thing you need to know about me, what you need to know about the Ash, is that I love Michael Kors quality bags. Second in line is Calvin Klein. And third is called Dune. D-U-N-E, Dune. It may not even be pronounced that, but I don't care. But we're focused on this baby. Okay, we're focused on her today. Okay, look at that. Mm hmm. Yep, gonna rotate real quick. Now, this to me, I think it's a fanny pack. And for my trips, I think I've said it before, but I enjoy being hands free when I know I need to walk miles and miles and miles and miles and miles during a busy season where I visit often so it still has the stuffing in it still has the plastic protection on the zipper on the front buttery leather still stuffed I have some ideas outfit ideas that I bought today like I said should be arriving next week so excited to wear this because with my body shape, when it comes to fanny packs, I don't know if I want to call it a fanny pack though. That's the only term that I can really compare it to. But yes, my body loves a good fanny. Mm-hmm. Yes, she does. 
So this is, I want to say, because <laughs> don't get me wrong, because the color you may see is the color I may not see. I'm not colorblind, but I'm shade blind a little bit. Like if it, say example, this is really random, but say it's a, like a really dark purple, it almost looks black. I'm going to say it looks black. But somebody said, no, that's a dark purple. What, what are you talking about? Like, I don't, leave me alone. So to me, this is like a taupey tannish and then a lightish brown with, of course, the gold hardware. I needed her. I needed this in my life. Now, mind you, there is four. No, there's the white, the black, the brown. And then the other monogram one. So, five other choices. I may have to go get the other two choices that I like. So you may see those in upcoming vlogs. If they have them still in stock, I don't know. But yes, this is my most current need so this is happening this is going with me on the trip but i just wanted to it's not an unboxing because they didn't have any boxes so presenting her Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Listen, when I said I was going to be dressing cute, I didn't know I was going to be acting brand new because of it. I had no clue. <laughs> because it was getting claustrophobic in the start lane for work, okay? That's what I was doing. But hey, here's what it is. We're back now, I'm getting back into the groove. Full swing, home run, bases loaded. Okay, that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna need all the, the fruit fly season. I don't know where all these people, these little things came from, because they're not people, they're insects. Um, I don't know where they came from. They're everywhere. Infestation, is it a pestilence? We'll find out. <laughs> Never know. But yeah, yesterday, just to recap with me, as I mentioned, going to the grocery store, insubordinate because five items, $52. And then you saw the beautiful sunset right after. That was just fantastic. 
fantastic because I was on the way home and I figured, hey, might as well just capture that. So it was just moments like that when I'm able to catch a sunset because this summer I haven't been able to catch any, it feels like, because it has been either very cloudy or very hazy because of the wildfires. And it's just like, um, who called for this? <laughs> This is not what summer is supposed to be made of. But nonetheless, very blessed to see one. So I hope when I do record those that they are relaxing to you as well. But I am at work. It is midweek for me. You know how I'll be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Monday, like that's what it feels like. Why is it dragging on? And then the weekend lasts two seconds. It's already August. Mind you, it's the end of August for me because I'm <laughs> I'm ahead in my videos. So <sighs> mm. 2023 has just but if you refer here I think that's why so just a little reference there for you okay let me log into the system let me get settled in for the day probably not gonna do much today I don't know if I want to sit down with you guys today or just do my usual routine because I gotta clean the place and you know revamp it and all of that so we'll see we'll just see you later maybe a couple days per usual I just I never know where this is gonna go y'all already know the drill already so let me get to this come on and she bad guy then she cute but now I gotta be the maiden and do some laundry, so. Oh, but wait, there's more. Mind you, it is not a lot of laundry that I have to do. It's just thick items. Like why is my clothing thick? I'm blessed that it's thick. <laughs> Gotta consider the blessings and everything. But it's just like also another blessing. Get into the habit of that. Recognizing what you got. Um I have an in-unit washer and dryer that was supplied. Mind you, some days it'd be sounding like um a four by four riding down a Rocky Mountain street mountainous area mount Everett something it'd it be acting like it wants to run away and you know just <laughs> shift you know just switch gears on your hose that's what it that's what it wants to do and then it takes my dryer about two or three times to dry but do I feel like going to the laundromat mm -hmm. I don't. Have I had to before? Many times. That ain't nothing new to me, child. It's just the the convenience of things. But yes, I feel like I need to do a cleaning. So that's what I am going to do. But I just wanted to check in, say hello again, and I keep forgetting my hangers. And yes, they are assorted. Don't judge me. Judge Pappy. Did, have you put your laundry away? Have you even done your laundry, sir and or ma'am? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Looking over here talking about my assorted hangers. Okay. Don't make fun of me. Cause I make fun of my dang on self. Beach to the punch. 
But yeah, today is going to be real chill after I clean because Miss Ma'am, I'm Miss Ma'am in this case, I don't feel like doing nothing else. I feel like for the rest of the week after I clean. That has always, because to me, I do a clean name, okay? That's what I do. And it's like, I want to have the end of my week and towards the weekend more, you know, fun things for me to do when it's, you know, clear out. Even when it hasn't been clear out, I've been forcing myself to do at least something like on in indoors, you know. Indoors. Indoors. Indoors, indoors, take it away, Penny. Okay, no, don't play with her. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, known tip like for an air freshener, because mind you. I don't know how I got into it. I probably should blame my mom. But there are these certain hacks that I've learned to do and so forth. And, you know, just a simple air freshening type of thing. If you don't have any, like around, like if you don't have any Febreze or, you know, the Unstoppables. Whatever spray that you like. I usually, well, let me show you. Hold on. Due to the heat, my water, well, it's not a water bottle anymore, but my bottle kind of morphed. I don't know if you can see the hexagon looking situation. It's round. You see it, you see it bent. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. But anyway, um, this is more watered down now because I put more water in it. But it is a solution of just your favorite fabric softener and some water. Just spritz it on. The areas that you know are fabric safe and things like that and it works like a charm so and it makes to me it makes your place smell fresher longer because with just like an aerosol can it usually can just fade a little bit I think my personal opinion it could fade faster than from just being in the air than it's actually on items of fabric so the more you know and it's just it's gloomy out so this is why i chose today to do my everyday technically it's my midweek clean and laundry situation so, <sighs> comment below how your closet is cooperating. Are you currently revamping it? Are you happy on what you got in it already? Have you donated anything recently? Do you feel the need to? want to get rid of some stuff i think now is a good time especially with seasons that's gonna change within a month or so always nice to look back at that also i have no clue why where this habit started but for years probably from childhood but years i always do my socks last like I put them to the side and I pair them up last. It's just like an organization thing to me, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't think since my apartment, 
you know, is more of a, um, what do I want to call it? Cabin-esque, like, dimmy, ambientic type of place. You know, with when it comes to lighting, because I keep telling y'all about my lighting, I ain't got no overhead light. I have a lamp here, a lamp here, and my ring light here that's dying in a window. Not this window. There's a window right across from me. I ain't got no overhead lights. Okay, exaggerated sleeve. Okay, but yeah, that's... So it can get dark real quick. <laughs> And when it comes <laughs> to filming and stuff like that, it's, you know, I got to get the right timing of day and so on. So I don't know if I want to film the actual cleaning part, but that's why I just wanted to stop by and talk to y'all while I'm doing this. Because y'all are the family. Let me know if you guys want a name so I can get creative in doing so with that because this is a well-rounded community i'm speaking that into existence this is a well-rounded community this is a positive uplifting community okay and we're gonna build each other up and we're gonna learn from each other and we're gonna do all the things okay? that is what we are gonna do what is speaking of cleaning and all the good all the things too what is the room that you cannot stand to do or the chore that you have to do that you cannot stand to do to me hmm i think it's putting away dishes it's not necessarily doing them it's putting them away because it's like not only do I have to wait for y'all to dry, now I gotta put y'all away. Like, it is a multifaceted, multi-purposeful, multi-stepped situation. And I don't like that. Because you're taking my good old time away. For what? Because not only do I wash you, I dry you. Child, whatever. Oh, you're probably going to hear stomping again because, <laughs> but if you do, don't mind it because at this point I have to be numb to it too. <laughs> so just suffer with me, if you will. You probably have noticed too, a girl is a cardigan girl. I have to be layered, especially at work. Because also... I guess we're gonna get real random now there i went to a through a phase i don't want to say it's a phase because it's still me but to me for a girly that i feel that has a shape i got a shape on me okay for someone that got a shape I feel like I can I can be distracting to some people. Yes, I can. Because, you know, the the fangs be fanging and stuff be jiggling. Okay. Um nothing, nothing wrong with that, okay? Especially for a woman that knows what she when she fluctuates, when she not, when she feel like she'll blow the way, when she feel like she snatched. Okay, because I always say this too. I am one Spanish leaf from keeping it all in, but one French fry away from losing it all. Oh. And we we can't have that. It's it's very balanced. <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a situation where I could just be a your blob. My <laughs> with my frame, I could either be a real blob or just square. It's just <laughs> Oh, I need to be in the middle with the waist in it. Okay. That's what it needs to do. And <laughs> it's like I went through a season, and I'm gonna reiterate too, that it's it's always gonna be within me, but I got to a point where I was looking at myself every day. I was 
dressing appropriately for you know offices and things like that but more recently it was just like I felt like I was concealing myself a little bit too much and that's never been me mind you I'm not in any type of professional setting I'm not gonna have everything hanging out you gay okay? you're not you're not gonna catch me do that okay but <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to things like, you know, feeling confident at work and wanting to just feel flowy and cute while there so you can possibly do stuff after work, I felt like I could do nothing, absolutely nothing after work. It's because I either needed to... Um, take the time to go back to my place, get settled, get ready. But at the time, usually when events happen and all of that, it's have already started like right after work. And it's like, first off, can you let people like freshen up from their work day? I never understood why, you know, especially business type of related things. Why does the cocktail hour start at 5.30 and end at 8? Not even 8, probably 7.30. For me, I'm going to need to go back home. And depending on the location, I'm going to need to go back home. That's what I was thinking. Get re-ready and go to the event. Because I'm not going to be all day at the office and just show up. No, I'm going to need to put it on. Because my work wardrobe is different from, you know, the social hour type of situation. Evidently, people don't understand that. They don't get that at all. With these cocktail hours. Now, my, I don't know, mind you, I don't know if it's a northern thing. Uh, because I, when I be seeing people in the Houston's and the Atlanta's and then all that, it's just like y'all be having things at night. Like night, night. Okay, I'm, I'm with that jam. So, do I need to move? Let me know. Let me know everything i'm down to the to the wire so we just gonna pack this thing on up and i'll catch y'all a little bit later probably once i'm a little chilled out after what i gotta do okay as it's thunderstorming as we speak place is clean it's smelling superb in here okay I didn't even realize how much time I just spent you know just chilling with y'all mind you I don't mind it but the episode is getting near 40 minutes now so I'm gonna need to start a new one so this was just roughly a few days in the week just a normal talkative me goofy me during the week because if you were around me you're you're gonna get the fun you're gonna get the laughs you're gonna get the sarcasm you're gonna get the personality so it's typically what i like to do it comes in spurts you know then i'd be quiet again and then come in spurts so yeah but thank you for hanging with me chilling with me just kicking back while I was doing laundry, doing other stuff. So I'm going to stop it here and we're going to keep this thing rolling. But you already know, do all the things that people tell you to do on this platform. And you already know what I'm talking about. It helps a lot. Support your girl. Because if you're here, you like some. So until the next one, take care.